Hello, Fiction Sheiks. Welcome back to another day of clowning. Today, I'm going to turn myself into Jojo the Clownzilla from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This guy. I have not seen this movie yet, but I want to. And I have a feeling I'm going to both hate and love it at the same time. All right, so first I mapped out where everything is going to go on my face using white Spirit Halloween grease paint and an angled brush. This looks really weird right now, and I might not stick to it exactly, but at least I have a plan. I'm attempting to give myself a bit of a mouth illusion where it looks like I have some yellow fangs showing. So I'm using the yellow from the Zinovka face painting kit, and I'm painting on some fang shapes over my bottom lip. Now I'm using black Zinovka face paint and a very small detail brush to fill in the negative space. Moving on to my eyes, I I used the light purple from the Neon Brights eyeshadow palette and put that all over my eye. Then I used the dark purple and the blue to hollow out that inner corner and try to give myself some bags. And lastly, I am covering my face in wrinkles using the brown from the Neon Brights eyeshadow palette and an angled brush. I'm attempting to follow the natural direction of where wrinkles would actually wrinkle by curving around the mouth and around the eyebrows. All right, full Look, I think this makeup came out so good. This is terrifying. Like, it's funny, but it's also quite creepy. Sorry, it's fun to watch the teeth move. <laughs> For my face, the white base is Spirit Halloween grease paints. The black and yellow on the teeth and the blue eyebrows are the Zenovka face painting kit. The purple lips and the purple eyebrows are NYX Liquid Suede lipstick. In the color Amethyst. I tried to use an offcut um, for the highlight on the lips, but it didn't show up a lot. So instead, I used this Maybelline lipstick. Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. Also, if you're wondering why I'm hunched over instead of kneeling on the ground, is because um, I'm covered in paper dots and I don't want them to bend or fall off. So, standing. There is so much going on on my face right now, but I kind of love it. I'm very happy with how this came out, especially with the teeth, the illusion. Like, if I'm not talking or making a face, it kind of looks like real teeth. Well, cartoon teeth, but anyway. Here's the outfit. Um, all of these clowns wear jumpsuits, none of which I have. So instead, I'm wearing an army green short sleeve shirt with army green sweatpants that kind of match the same color, more or less. And then I duct taped a whole bunch of yellow and green circles that I cut out of construction paper all over my pants and shirt more so on my shirt. Clownzilla wears a green clown jumpsuit with green circles on it, so figured this was close enough. I have on my black clown collar again. This is the same one that I used for Pennywise and white fishnets because he also wears a clown collar and white gloves. This is so comical. I have literally duct taped in paper right now. This is probably one of the dumbest cosplays I've ever done. Oh, I forgot the wig. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is actually a Thing 1 and Thing 2 wig made for kids because it is a little small for my head and it keeps coming, like, falling backwards. But I chose this wig because it is very fluffy and it is a short wig. Most of my wigs are long or bobs, neither of which I thought would work for this character. Godzilla technically- Godzilla? Ooh. Cloudzilla technically has purple hair, um, but I only have a blue fluffy Thing 1 and Thing 2 wig, so I- he has blue hair today. I think it works quite well for the character though, because this is very much your traditional crazy fluffy clown hair. It's very soft and fun to mess with. Fun to play with not to eat. This thing is still extremely hard to breathe in. Wow, does that change the makeup. All right, well, now that I can breathe, <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more clowns, tune back in tomorrow, because I'm doing 31 days of clowns. If you want to see more of me, click the link in the description box. That'll bring you to my link tree and all my links where you can find my Instagram, my TikTok, and a whole bunch of other stuff involving me. I am also posting all of these clowns on Instagram and TikTok, so if you want to see more clown content, head over there. I almost don't want to take off this makeup. Like, I'm very proud of it. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Paper free.